Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope this sounds good. I've got a microphone right here. So hopefully the sound is a little better than usual. That would be great. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> so today I wanted to do a brief chat about what you will and probably will not be seeing on this channel. So I get a lot of comments of suggestions of products and methods and different things that I can use on my natural hair. These suggestions are usually things like rice water, coconut oil, pre-poo, aloe vera, garlic, specific types of shampoos, onions, co-washing, protein treatments, water only washing, etc. There's so many more, but those are the ones I can think about. And thank you so much for all your recommendations. I really appreciate it. And thanks for looking out for me and trying to help me solve any problems that I previously mentioned that I might have with my hair. I think some of these things I am very much open to trying at some point in the future and other things will be probably a complete no-go for me. I know that here in the natural hair community, oh gosh, natural hair community has definitely shrunk. I don't know if you feel that way, but I do. Um, I think we t there's a tendency to sort of look for the new big trend that might sort of help us to propel forward in our hair journeys. I think one of the most obvious reasons for this is because we, you know, we want to see results fast. So when someone claims that they've had sort of an, an inch of growth in a week, <laughs> I've seen in some titles and things like that, we get intrigued, we want to try, so, and so, um, so on and so forth. But I think another reason is just because if your goal is to grow your hair, it can be pretty boring. It's just me that thinks so. And what I mean by boring is that it takes a long time and results don't show up immediately. And it's really something that happens sort of in the backgrounds of our life, right? It's not something really in the forefront. And then from, I guess, the standpoint of a content creator as one myself, I know that there is pressure. It feels like there's pressure sometimes to show your audience what they want to see, jump on you know new bandwagons and things like that as they come up um, because you can it's a very easy way to sort of find a new audience that way and and engage with them so I understand that completely I think for me I feel like where I am in my hair journey I pretty much understand what my hair likes what she doesn't like I know she loves moisture I know she doesn't like protein very much I know that she enjoys to be stretched I know how often she likes to be washed. I know that she loves to be moisturized and sealed with heavy butters. I like. The, I know that she likes to be left alone. I know the kind of routine that my hair needs to stay healthy. And that still is the main goal for my hair. I do want to keep my hair healthy. So I think because of that, I don't see the value in trying a bunch of new things at this point. I mean, of course, if there's some new information that will help me improve my technique, because I personally think technique is the number one thing that makes a difference between whether my hair is thriving or not. So if there's something that can improve my technique, 100%, I want to try it, I want to adopt, I try and see if I can adapt it and pop it into my regimen. And you guys know as well, I'm always on the hunt for a staple deep conditioner. <laughs> I think the hunt is almost finished, so I will release a staple video at some point. However, if it's the new raving growth oil or it's the new homemade recipe for growing your hair an inch in a week, then I don't think it doesn't feel good to me right now. I'm a huge believer in if it's not broke, don't fix it. And the path that I'm on right now is really working for me. So I think I'm going to stick here. If you watch my natural hair journey part two video, um, and I'll link it here somewhere if you haven't, you'll know that I have been through several ups and downs in this hair journey and through several different regimens to end up where I am now. And I definitely ended up on a lot of different bandwagons that promised fast results in my hair journey. I would buy new products like every few weeks, like that was what I would spend all my extra money on. I would try new regimens every few months. I would just do a bunch of DIY recipes as well because everybody raved about them. And surprise, surprise, <laughs> not a lot of them worked in the long run. I'd say that 99% of them didn't work at all. Or if they did work, they were really too tedious to add into any sort of realistic routine for me. What did work was the stuff that I've talked about in so many of my videos before. Good technique, stable regimen, Boring, yes, but I think a lot of the time, boring consistency is just what we need. And I think that consistency coupled with skill set makes us damn near unstoppable. 
I remember watching so many YouTube videos, especially in the beginning of my journey, and there'd be so many people that would buy a product or a range of products from a new brand I'd never heard of, and they would rave about it, so it was the best thing since sliced bread, and then it would just disappear as quickly as it came. And then, in the worst case scenarios, there would be like a video in a few months about a setback. Now, I'm not saying there's any bad intentions when this does happen. In fact, I think it's really sad because I think we put in a lot of effort, especially content creators put in a lot of effort with our hair. And I think we can feel the pressure as well from our audience to have constant results. Like even when I pivoted and said that I'm not really going to be growing my hair anymore, it's going to be more about health. I did kind of worry, you know, how people would see it and things like that. So I underst I definitely understand these thoughts. So I can imagine that having a huge setback due to something that you tried for YouTube or you tried and filmed on YouTube, would be just really, really disheartening. I guess my point is that that's not really a cycle that I'm willing to put myself through, especially not at this time. So what will I do on this channel? I hope to share all of the information that I've learned throughout my journey over the years. I hope to share experiences and techniques that might be a bit difficult to find, things that maybe you don't see too often, things that aren't found easily when you Google it or look it up on YouTube, things that I think can a lot of the time be learned through experience. I hope to share practical tips that will take your hair to the next level, hopefully. That's how I started my channel and that's how I hope to go on. And I wanna encourage you as well, if there is a problem that you've got with your hair, by all means, please address it. And by all means, please look for ways to solve the issue. Find it, try it, and if it works for your hair and your lifestyle, keep it. However, if your hair is doing just fine, Maybe it's not growing as fast as you like and maybe it's not doing particular styles that you wish that it would, that someone else's hair is doing. But if it's healthy and it's thriving in its natural state, please don't fix stuff that isn't broken. I want to encourage you to just enjoy your hair at whatever stage it's at, at the moment. Because funny enough, I think that's kind of the first step of the journey. If you feel that it can be difficult to love your own crown or that you have a lot of hang-ups about your hair, then please check out my video, Why Your Hair Isn't Growing, Mindset Matters. I'll link that here as well. And in that video, I talk about my journey with really disliking my hair and how I was able to just mend the relationship and how I was able to get where I am now, which is love. So that's all for today, folks. <laughs> no rice water, I'm afraid, ever. <laughs> Please comment down below and let me know what sort of natural hair trends you jumped on and you tried that maybe didn't work or maybe did work. I'd love to read and though it takes me a while, I will reply. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.